What's going on, Smart Baseball fans? Apparently, this offseason is just going in pairs of twos because we had Verlander to the Mets earlier today, and now we have Trey Turner to the Phillies. Let's break it down. Welcome to Smarter Baseball, where we not only talk about what's going on in Major League Baseball, but how and why so that we can become even smarter baseball fans. If you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the page, and turn on notifications so that you can help the channel grow and you don't miss out on any content that's going to help you become an even smarter baseball fan. So after missing out on winning the World Series, losing to Houston, Philly wanted to make another big move, and goddamn, did they just make it. 11 years, $300 million to bring in the 29-year-old Trey Turner to be their new shortstop. This deal includes a full no-trade clause, and it comes out to about $27.3 million AAV. Turner, over his career so far, eight years in the majors, has played in 849 games, 3,737 plate appearances, slashing 302, 355, 487 for a 842 OPS and 122 OPS+. Plus. To go along with this, he's one of the better power speed threats in baseball hitting 124 home runs and stealing 230 bases, only getting caught 42 times. Now, Turner is obviously a guy that he's really good at making good, solid contact and getting base hits. That's why his BABIP is so much higher than average over his career. But to go along with this, now, they're not insane numbers, but his ISO, homer percentage, home runs per fly ball, exit velo, hard hit, they're all above average, showing that he is a good power hitter. For the most part though, he tends to hit the ball back up the middle, getting mostly line drives and ground balls and staying away from fly balls. So he's more picking and choosing when he's gonna lift the ball and really try to put some oomph behind it. Now Turner's a guy that's not gonna strike out a whole lot, but at the same time, he doesn't really end up walking all that much either still maintaining a pretty good ratio between the two of those though. He sees about average pitches per plate appearance, swinging about the same average amount of time, but once again, what he excels at is just putting bat to ball and making contact. Turner's other elite tool that he holds is his speed to go along with really good base running, both stealing bases and taking the extra base over his career. Now in 2022, he played 160 games, making 708 plate appearances and slashed 298, 343, 466 for a 809 OPS and a 121 OPS plus. So still really good, but just a little bit actually below his career averages. The BABIP was still insanely high, pretty typical for what we're used to seeing from him, but all of his ISO, homer percentage, homers per fly ball, exit velo, hard hit, they all took a dip this season. So some of that power seemed to kind of go away a little bit. And this is kind of odd because his line drive percentage roughly maintained, still above league average, but he hit way less ground balls and way more fly balls this season. So you would expect more power, especially considering the fact that all of a sudden he turned into a pole hitter. We saw a slight tick up in the strikeouts, a slight tick down in the walks, meaning that his approach wasn't quite what we're used to seeing from him. He was seeing a few less pitches per plate appearance because he was swinging a little bit more, now above league average, and making contact less, actually below average, going from pretty good at it. And the dude is still fast. I mean, he really fast. He makes fast people look well, not fast. Now that's Turner offensively. Let's take a look at his advanced numbers defensively at shortstop, especially in terms of all of the 22 qualified shortstops this season. His defensive run saved had him ranked 13th in the majors. UZR per 150 was 18th. Outs above average and runs above average were 15th, and his total defensive rating, according to fan graphs, was 12th. So defensively, he was kind of in that, like, lower middle tier. It's not really a bad shortstop, but according to these, a 
far cry from one of the better defensive shortstops in baseball. And looking at Baseball Savant's percentile ratings, the average exit velo, he's about an average player, but he's got that pop in there for sure. It's just he doesn't bring it out a whole lot consistently. The hard hit percentage is there, barrel percentage about average. Again, he's not gonna strike out too much, but he's not getting a lot of walks at all. He actually whiffed a fair amount this year because he's chasing a ton, but the dude is fast. So when he does make contact or when he's out here in the field, it's gonna help with his middle-ish defense. So we know what Turner's gonna bring to the table, but why specifically is Philly wanting to bring him in? Philly shortstop slash 234, 290, 352 for a 642 OPS and an 80 WRC plus. Turner is going to be an obvious offensive upgrade because he's just gonna bring that contact ability. He's going to add on to this power. He's not really gonna do much to improve their approach at this position. Their walk and strikeout percentages were about in line with what we've seen from Turner, but the rest of his game, he's just going to add on offensively because, I mean, especially what he does on the base paths, he's gonna be an improvement over damn near anybody. Now, Turner's also gonna be a defensive upgrade for Philly, but that says more about the Philly defense than it does about Turner, because Philly shortstops rank 25th in defensive runs saved, 22nd in UZR per 150, 29th in outs and runs above average, and were 25th in Fangraph's defensive rating as a whole they needed to just do something to improve their fielding at this position. So now comment down below, what do you think about this deal? Is this a good move for Philly? I think obviously it's a good move for Turner. The dude just got paid. Comment down below. Anybody else that you wanna hear about on this channel, we're gonna keep up with any of these big trades, free agent signings, all of this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support the channel, drop a like, subscribe to the page, and turn on notifications so that you can help the channel grow and you don't miss out on any of this content that we're going to have coming out that will help you become an even smarter baseball fan. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one when we get Rodon and Judge both signing on the same day. I'm calling it right now.